into some breaking news right now. Police chasing a stolen U-Haul in Sun Valley. Yeah, let's go to Mike Rogers on the assignment desk with the very latest on this one. This is unusual, Mike. We don't see a stolen RV or uh, U-Haul, rather, very yeah. often, do we? Right. No, this is LAPD's West Valley Station. They've been following him down the five for quite some time. Now, the driver has had his turn signal on indicating maybe he's going to yield, but I have seen that turn signal on for the last, I would say, you know, couple of minutes since we've been overhead. So whether or not he's actually going to pull over is a little bit unclear. It looked like he did have room to do that uh, on the freeway and chose not to. But now we're exiting at Roscoe here as the U-Haul comes to a stop. Uh, LAPD was w in what they call a following before this, which is basically a kind of a coordination of the units before they actually try to make what they call a felony traffic stop. Um, so you just pulled over here now, you guys. We're going to have to see what happens. Yeah, this is, again, as you mentioned, LAPD has stolen U-Haul. This is all in... Sun Valley, Susie, as you see those units there behind this U-Haul, the driver, I would assume that they'd be in communication with him. We see an officer approaching the vehicle, and I'm sure that they would be shouting commands for him to uh, give up. That's right, and what they often do is, you know, yell at the person to put their hands out the window, throw the keys out, open the door from the outside, and then slowly uh, come out of the car with their hands up. And it looks like so far they're doing just that, right, Mike? Right, and I, he just threw something out the window. It almost looked like a lit cigarette, but mm -hmm. it was kind of hard to tell. Uh, we are off the 170 freeway here at Roscoe. Like I said, they, they what we call lit them up, where they tried to pull them over uh, quite some time ago on the 5 freeway, uh, but it looks like now he's pulling over and complying. You know, this is, uh, does not appear to be a full-size U-Haul cube mm -hmm. truck. It appears to be on one of those truck frames, so one of the smaller ones. Of course, we don't uh, know what is in the back of this truck. That's obviously once the police officers get into custody. This driving suspect here wanted for a stolen U-Haul truck. Mm -hmm. They would probably at some point in time get into the back of the vehicle to clear it completely because you just never know what could be in the back of these U-Hauls. He's actually walking the other direction, which is odd to me. Uh, usually they ask him to uh, walk towards him. He does have his hands up. I have yet to see him uh, raise up his jacket yeah. to show them that he has no weapon. I don't know if he's completely complying or not, but it looks like he's, well, uh, he's hesitating, the there, isn't he? Huh? Yeah, well, maybe he was trying to get on the ground there for just a second there. Uh, it's hard to tell, though. Um, looks like he's just standing there for now and listening to whatever officers are telling him, it seems. He did seem to kind of walk off, of, uh, Mike, just a little bit there. I don't know if he's completely complying. I would, I would assume now he's walking backwards, which is a good sign, but I don't think he's ever shown uh, his waistband to the officers, and they obviously want to see if there's any weapons around his yeah, waist. Before they approach him, yeah, before he approaches them. Especially under a jacket like that, and, and, and you know, typically they'll have them put their hands above their head or on their head, so yeah. having them at the small of their back is not necessarily where the officers want your hands because quicker access to a waistband if he's got something. There we go. Now we've got the hands on top of the head. Yeah, I would assume that they'd probably want him to turn around and maybe lift up that waistband, but maybe not. Maybe they had a chance to, to speak to him before as three officers uh, come in on this driver and they will take him into custody. And uh, at that point in time, we would uh, have a code four just on the suspect, but they got to clear the vehicle and they got to make sure that there's nobody else inside. Yeah, you just wonder what, like you said, is inside this uh, this U-Haul that uh, made it actually be stolen, I guess, uh, you know. Um, you wonder what was in there or what had, how, that po the, how possibly the pursuit began. Um, maybe if somebody was moving and maybe called police and said, hey, you know, my U-Haul was just stolen. So Is that another suspect? It looks like it. Yeah, okay. We've got somebody another else coming on the right hand the side. part of the side mm -hmm. here. All, almost dressed the same as the driver in a hoodie. He's got his hands up. So we really don't know how many people might be involved. I mean, there could be three. It could be a bench seat inside of that U-Haul. Is they, are they asking him to open up the back That's of that? That's what it seems uh, like. Sure it looks like it. It seems yeah. very unusual that the police would ask the suspect yes. to open up yeah. the wall. Yeah, I'd have to agree. doesn't look like much in there. Right. Obviously, no people from what we can see. looks like a little bit of, of uh, some sort of, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's certainly lighted up, which is nice for mm -hmm. the officers, but we'll have to see what's going on there. I'm sure they still would like to open that up and completely clear it. But that is an odd one to have the uh, suspect open up the the back of the U-Haul trailer. This is a stolen U-Haul truck, rather. Yeah, it's true. You know, usually uh, police are the ones who go up to that truck, uh, to the stolen truck, and they'll go ahead and clear it themselves after they get the both the driver and the passenger out, as we've seen so far. But yeah, it's, it was unusual. Um, you know, sometimes uh, different uh, methods are used in different situations uh, for different agencies, and the LAPD chose this one tonight. But it looks like they're approaching that second suspect now in the passenger seat, who was in the passenger seat, and arresting him. Look like some sort of building materials or something like that mm -hmm. in the back of that U-Haul. 
as uh, we take a look at the second suspect. I think we probably want to stay here for just a second to make sure there's not a third suspect. And you just never know. That is a bench seat in the front of that U-Haul. There could be somebody else in there. Uh, if, if not, then I think that you would see a team of officers approach the vehicle, uh, clear it from the front, and then uh, probably raise up the back, as that suspect did just a few minutes ago. And, and Jeff, these vehicles like this, the U-Hauls, rental cars, those kinds of things, it's hard to tell how it was stolen. Was, yeah. it, was it taken at gunpoint? Was sure. it just lifted off the side of the road? Or what we see very commonly is people just simply don't return them. Yep. And then if you don't return them, then they get marked as stolen and this kind of thing happens. Sure. And they could be from a different state too. U-Hauls are obviously, you know, used in different states and you have different license plates, uh, you know, seen in different states. So you never know. But it looks like uh, the officers are now approaching that U-Haul truck stacked behind each other with a gun trained at the uh, door on the right hand side and it looks like they're going to go and clear this vehicle. Hopefully no one, no more people inside, but they have to make sure. It appeared to be two suspects of middle aged men uh, from just my vantage point that I could see. Uh, both men had uh, hoodies and they uh, did not appear to have any weapons on them. As we're going to take a look inside the back part of this U-Haul truck, they're going to raise it up and they'll see to make sure that there's nobody inside. Once again, we did have a chance to see inside there just a peek in and it appeared to be maybe some shelving or building materials or something like that as the officer here with LAPD is going to work that mechanism and try to get that open so they can completely clear this stolen U-Haul. Looks like there's some having some trouble getting that open again, but it uh, looks like all clear here and uh, the stolen U-Haul pursuit comes to an end with officers trying to open the back once again just to take a peek one more time at uh, what's in the back there, but we're going to move on to other news now now to this 